What's up, y'all? Big Herc, fresh out, kicking here with the homie from the north side, kicking around some tales from the north side. You know, trying to um, just provide a little information, you know, uh, clarify a lot of the misnomers out there. And uh, by no means are we trying to uh, prejudice, prejudice, prejudice the Southsiders or the Serranos. If you guys want to do an interview, hit us up at freshoutseries at gmail.com. You know, we'll, we'll get out and do an interview with y'all. But we're just trying to, like I said, kick around some game with the homie from the north side. And I had a question for you, man. Um, you know, a lot of times people want to know if you join the North Indians, can you get out? Because I've heard the term dropout being used. How, how does that work? Yeah, that's a good question, man. Um, once you're embraced by the cause, it's for life, right? There's, there's, there's no, um, you know, retiring. You just, uh, it doesn't matter if you're 60, 70 years old, if you end up getting back into the prison system, you're expected to fall in line and participate, right? To your ability. And, um, you know, it, it, for us, when you leave the prison walls, your participation, your duty to us, you know, walk, you walk out with that duty. So you walk out on the streets and we want you to be a civilian. We want you to spend time with your family and we don't want you hanging out on the corner, you know, selling dope, doing stupid shit, right? We want you to be doing positive stuff. It benefits us for you to do better, right? So for you to go out there and get into whatever you, you think you need to be getting into for us, you know, it doesn't help us. The only thing we expect is when you leave, you know, if you, you know which homeboys are struggling because they don't get any help from the streets, but if you're doing good, if you put a little bit of money on their books and whatnot, you know, they're trying to make it home too, right? So um, they helped you get, make it home. So the least you can do is look out for those homeboys that are in need, right? And um, it's, that's expected. And if you don't do that and we hear about you doing good, you might be balling or doing whatever you're doing, you're doing good now, you know, um, and you end up coming back, well, we're going to look at you like a piece of shit. You know, if you didn't help out, if you helped out, man, we're going to show you a lot of love because you were showing love. Right. So, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter um, with us what you end up doing in your life. You, like I said, you could get out and be an accountant and you come back to prison. You're going to fall right in line. Right. It doesn't matter to us. And uh, it, it, you're when you're in it, you're in it for life, man. You're and that's why we say um, every young homeboy or I mean, every person in, embraced by the car cause you get you start out with a flame. Right, it's a small little flame, and your it's kind of it's in your heart, right? You carry it with you, and then um, that f that flame becomes a fire, and you got to be a true believer to be a part of this shit, right? So it's not something you could just turn off, man. A lot of things could happen to you, and you are gonna carry that little flame with you. It might go from a a, a raging fire to maybe ten years from now, it's a little flame, but all it takes is is you know you stepping back behind the walls, and it, it's raging again, right? So you know that's just what it is. You know, and, and dropouts, man, they're, um, the only way you're getting out is by debriefing. So you got to basically work with administration and you have to debrief and talk about certain things, um, whether that's the, um, the people that are in positions of responsibility or um, maybe where we keep our weapons at or if we're making money in there, how we're making money. So it's, it's, it's it hurts us, you know, when someone drops out, drops out. So is detrimental to us. So they're able to decapitate us momentarily because of a dropout working with the staff until we kind of are able to re-strategize and whatnot. But, um, you know, that's, that's how it, that's how it is. That's the only way you can get out. And so what happens if you pa cross paths with a dropout while you're in the pen? So the way we deal with that, you know, we have a, there's a right way to deal with it in a wrong way, right? So the right way to deal with it for us is if we're in a prison, and that yard is established and they release a dropout onto that yard. You know, we don't necessarily know right off the rip that he's a dropout, but it only takes us a little bit to find out, right? I mean, we keep, like I was saying in the previous video, our information system is ridiculous. And we know, we know everybody, we know everybody is anybody. So when you hit that yard and we find out you're a dropout, um, we're, we're gonna do, if, I'm running, if you're running the yard correctly is we're gonna put holes in you. Right, we're going to get a group and we're going to put them on you and we're going to get a squad together and put them on you and they're going to hit you hard and you're going to leave feet first because that sends a message to the administration not to put any more dropouts out there. Now, if we just beat you up, which is what a lot of groups do, they'll get pieces of shit, they'll beat them up, and guess what? Tomorrow they'll put another piece of shit out there, right? So it's, it's the same thing for us. 
we don't have enough homeboys to be dealing with dropouts on a fucking daily or weekly or monthly basis. And so I would rather do the initial sacrifice and hit you hard and get you up out of there and send a message that if you put another one out here, he's going to leave like this feet first or you're going to have to life flight him up out of here. If we just beat you up, they're going to put you back. They're going to keep every, there might be a busload of dropouts to come. They just put them right out there. Right. They don't care. Let them get beat up. Right. So, um, but when we put holes in you, they stop putting dropouts, you know, so that's how we deal with it. Real talk from the homie from up north. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.